did I first start getting into acting? So I'm, I'm gonna go into the story about the viral video again. So in 2016, I had a viral video of me flipping a tire with this wounded Marine called Jose Sanchez. The, ho the, the video went viral with millions of views on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. Um, so after that video released, a week later, I was getting calls from Ken's Five, Fox News, Disney, Nickelodeon, um, Steve Harvey, Ellen, and so we couldn't manage all of those calls by ourselves because we didn't know how to get those calls and we also knew that I would be taken advantage of. So what we did was, what, what I did was, we signed with an agency called MM, MMG in New York and they're the ones who manage my acting, my acting. They're the ones who book me jobs such as the roles for mix, uh, the mixtape movie, Steven Gonzalez and also, um, uh, also Darman video, uh, also the Darman video, Kyle. So uh, just find a good agency as what I recommend. The agency will cover your back. You don't have to worry about searching yourself for different jobs. The agency will find you a job. They'll get you the audition. They'll send you the audition and you just got to do the audition. So that's all you have to do. How did my leg get like this it's in my hand? So I was born with amniotic band syndrome. So I'm going to just flip my leg backwards. Uh, so you can, you can, guys, you guys can see this. All right, but I was born with amniotic band syndrome, which caused my fingers of my right hand to amputate and so did my leg. So when I came out, I was like already, you know, like in like a build a kid guy. I was like 50% off. So that's that's how I uh, that's how I was born with one leg and one hand, kind of. I mean, it's, it's like a chicken a chicken wing. I like to like pack man. I'll just uh, am I Hispanic? Yes, I do have Hispanic. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. You're a good actor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hope I still see a lot of room for improvement, so one day I'll be a super, super great actor, hopefully. Uh, you have a friend who was born with two fingers on his hand? Yeah, I, 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 I've met a lot of people, a lot, I've met a lot of amputees, and I've met um, people who actually have like the exact same hand, and we call it our chicken wing. I thought, you know, uh, the chicken wing was something that I made up, so apparently tons and tons of different amputees out there have chicken wings and nubbies is what we call our, our nubs. Do I have TikTok? Yeah, actually, I do have TikTok. I'm pretty sure my TikTok is the same as my Instagram account, so you guys can search me up on TikTok. Everything's basically the same. It's Mr. Diego Mercado on TikTok, too. When do I think I'll join the army? Um, so my plan is to, I'm in currently in ROTC right now, JROTC, so right now, and I'm in Air Force JROTC. My plan is to graduate ROTC and try to change the policy for, for medically going into the Army. So after I change that policy, I, I plan to going into boot camp, going from boot camp to infantry school, going from infantry school, going to Rangers Assessment Process, RASP, and then going to Ranger School. And so hopefully I'll get the dream job of being a 75th Ranger Regiment and in the US Army. So maybe around, well, I'm 16 now and it's 2021, so maybe 2025. How do you like being an actor? I, really, I like being an actor too, so the way I'm going about being in the Army and stuff like that and changing policies is I'm actually an actor. So the reason I became an actor was there's more widespread media of things, you know, like what I'm saying is like you see everything on the news, everything revolves around media and stuff like that, but if me alone without my acting platform said hey i want to change laws no one would agree with me trying to change laws because no one knows what i'm capable of so if i showed you guys what i'm capable of and i put it outside on the media then you guys could choose for yourself am i capable of doing this am i not capable and you guys can vouch for me and trying to change laws so that's why i'm an actor that's why i'm doing it and the more jobs i get such as the dar man role and the steven gonzalez role in mixtape the more I love acting. And just in case I don't make it as, an, uh, as a soldier in the army, then I'll fall back onto acting. And uh, if I do become a well-known actor, then I'll actually help US troops out there, wherever they are, veterans, kids with special needs. So it all goes around. If I don't become a soldier, then I'll help soldiers. If I become an actor, well, I, I just said what I'm gonna do as an actor. But if I become a soldier, then that's my dream job. I'm so interested in Diego. My life, to me, seems pretty boring. So it's kind of weird getting questions like, oh, you're so interesting. I like, I, I, I see myself as like a boring guy, but you guys see me so interested. You guys seem so interested in me. 
So, uh, how did I, I made you cry during Darman? How did it become such? How did it become so emotional? Uh, <laughs> so, if you guys watched my reaction video on YouTube, which you guys should, I have a YouTube channel called Mr. Diego Mercado, right? It's, it's, it's the same. Everything's the same. So, I have a YouTube channel, and um, you guys should check that out. But I have a reaction video talking about how cold it was during the filming and how like like it was crazy so how i got into emotional acting i'm very i'm pretty decent at emotional acting because like i can actually like have more flexibility with all that stuff when it comes to emotional stuff i can manipulate it in many ways that's, that's the part of being an actor you can join you can do anything with it but um uh during the darman video it, it was especially emotional because it was so cold so I was on set and while they were recording I was like shaking and stuff like that. I was shaking so bad. I I was I was trying to cry but the tears wouldn't come out of my eyes because it was so cold. And my lips turned purple. I don't know if you guys saw that in the video but my my lips turned purple. Um <laughs> So that happened. So the cold did play off in the Dark Man video because it was extremely cold. Uh how just practice. I practiced for a long time. I'll just be sitting in my room and I'll go like watching like Stranger Things I'll be watching Stranger Things and like trying to mimic Eleven or uh, Millie Bobby Brown I'll try to mimic her acting and try to implement it in mine so watch I feel like say watch an actor and try to mimic what they do and try to make it your own way you ever do my emotional face uh, I don't really know if I have an emotional face I mean part of being an actor is to have many different many different ways of being emotional I don't know um, how do I do an emotional face that's weird. Don't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta practice for that. Is it hard to do school and acting life? Without a doubt, yes. Without a doubt, uh, I was. So this week we had final exams, and I was so tired um, because all I was, I was basically failing in all of my classes. That's I'm gonna say that now. I was basically failing in all of my classes because I traveled around so much and I missed so much school, and um, I couldn't keep up with the work they were giving me. So I failed, I almost failed all of my classes this semester, but within one week, I got all of them up and I'm very proud of myself because it took a lot of effort just to get those grades back up. So it is extremely difficult being an actor and balancing it out with school and ROTC especially. Um, so it's, 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 it's weird. It's like balancing two dreams at once. When did I join Darman? So, um, when did I, when I joined Darman? So this actually, so you guys saw the Darman video came out a couple weeks ago, but I got into co contact with Darman like two, three months ago, but yeah, almost two to three months ago. But uh, so I went over there and I traveled to on set to go film for Darman, but we had technical difficulties and we had to cancel the production of that Darman video. Um, and we flew back home and then Two months later, three months later, we got contacted by Darman again, which is the one that you guys saw on YouTube, Teens Reject the Sable Runner, and that's when I did the actual the actual project itself. So I've gone to card on contact with Darman twice, and maybe, maybe just in the future, you guys will see me on the third Darman project. Or wait, second, sorry. I'm counting the other one as a as a first, but maybe in the future you'll see me. That's, that's about drivers and I've Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why they made that meme though. I don't know. Uh, the, the Rock is so cool. The Rock is awesome. What's my favorite TV show? My favorite TV show has to be SEAL Team on CBS or uh, or or Lost in Space. I would do like Lost in Space is my. You guys should watch it on Netflix. Also, if you guys haven't already, go watch the movie mixtape. I'm in it. I play Steven Gonzalez. If you guys hate me in the movie, then I'm doing a good job at my role. But um, my dream job. Uh, or my favorite TV show is probably Lost in Space. It's on Netflix. You guys should check it out. I would love to have a role in Lost in Space. That's always been like at the top of my list of roles. That and a Marvel movie. You're proud of me. Oh, thank you. I don't, I, some some of these comments I don't know how to respond because I've, I've all this is all so sudden for me. Like out of nowhere. The, the video of Dark Man goes viral. I was not expecting that. And I started getting all this positive, positive comments and all that stuff. I don't know how to react to this. So you guys are, you guys are seeing me not knowing how to react. So I've, I've never dealt with this before. I've never dealt with so much uh, positive 
positive influence? Hulu and Disney Plus. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the Mandalorian on Disney uh, Disney Plus, but I've seen that. And then you guys should also check out uh, the Bad Batch. I like that. I'm a, I'm a Star Wars fan. I guess I guess I've always been kind of a Star Wars fan. But um, those are my two favorite. And then Holes the movie. I uh, I think that was one of my favorite movies. And Wally. I definitely I definitely don't cry every time I see Wally. Definitely don't. I don't at all. Who cries during Wally? Not me. That's for sure. Um, it depends on what you what you guys are into. I have I have different taste in what I watch. Um, I have different taste in what I watch. Like I watch military films such as The Band of Brothers. I think that's on HBO Max. The Band of Brothers. The Band of Brothers is a World War II film series, and it's amazing. It has won so many different awards, and uh, it is so good. It shows what happened during World War II and how we won. So like all that stuff. I'm a, I'm a nerd. I look into this stuff a lot. SEAL Team, Lost in Space, you guys should definitely check that out, it hooked me in, and they just came out with the new season, so I'm finishing that up, but you guys should definitely watch Lost in Space, um, what else, love, love my performance in mixtape, I don't like my performance in mixtape, oh my gosh, son, I was like, I was like, I wanna punch myself so bad, I wanna, I wanna punch myself, dang, I don't know why Gemma didn't, you know, or Beverly, that's her name in, uh, in the mixtape, I don't know why she didn't, kick me like super super hard or like take my own leg and beat me up with it i would have done that <laughs> but um um well if you guys like me then I, I guess i'm doing a good job wait yeah i'm a so if you guys haven't watched the movie mixtape i don't want to give any spoilers away but if you guys hate me in the movie then i'm doing a good job what other projects have i been a part of the only projects i've been involved in is um is the Darman video and mixtape. So it's kind of crazy how I'm so wide, widely known now. I'm like, school, I can't go around without, can I get your autograph? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was doing one for ABC, but that didn't, that didn't air. So funny story, have I, met, uh, have I met anyone else who's famous? Funny story, um, in California on the first Darman project, with, or the first time I traveled to California, LA, to go film the Darman project, the one that was canceled due to technical difficulties. I went to a cafe with my castmate for mixtape, Gemma Allen, who played Beverly. We went to a famous cafe that was widely known. It's like Joe's Pizzeria in New York. It's basically the same equivalent, but it was in LA. So this cafe had Dove Cameron. I'm pretty sure it had, what's what's the girl who plays Zuri uh, and, and uh, Jesse. But while we were walking to this cafe, we went to the cafe, got to the doors, and someone holds the door open for all of us. So we didn't really think about who it was. We just know, hey, this nice person held open the door and a girl was with them. So we're sitting down, right? We order some, some food, we order breakfast. My mom got a cappuccino and we're sitting down and my mom's looking, looking at this guy who opened the door for him. And he, she's like, I know this guy. I'm like, mom, you're crazy right now. You are not, you don't know this guy. She's like, no, 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 no. He looks like one of my famous Korean actors. I'm like, mom, you've got to be kidding me. So she starts doing this, this research, this super, super crazy research on all of her favorite actors. And she's like, Diego, you won't believe who's sitting right across from us right now. It's Steven Young who plays Glenn in Walking Dead. So we're, I'm like, no way, no way, mom, no way. So she starts taking uh, like weird photos. She starts taking like obvious photos. I'm like, Glenn, I'm so sorry for my mom acting like a five-year-old right now. I'm so sorry. So she's taking photos with Glenn and, and she's like, oh my gosh, that is Glenn. So I'm freaking out. There's Glenn sitting next to us. We've been basically eating breakfast and lunch with him for like six hours straight. We were just in a cafe just talking. So, I mean, not six hours, like three hours, my bad. So we were sitting in a cafe for like three hours right next to Glenn who plays Stephen, uh, like, I mean, Stephen Young, Glenn. Um, so we were sitting right next to Glenn and it's crazy. And right next to him was Chloe Zhao. Chloe Zhao was what the director of Eternals, Internals, the Eternals. Mar Eternals, sorry. So Chloe Zhao and Glenn, that's, that's amazing. So I did meet two famous people on one day and so, right as they were gonna leave, Chloe Zhao goes to the restroom, and guess who follows her? My mother. <laughs> so my mom 
follows Chloe's out into the restroom and she's like, hey, I don't want to draw attention to you, so I followed you into the restroom. Not creepy at all, right? I'm just not going to be a creep, so I waited for you to go into the restroom and I followed you. Hmm. <laughs> so as Chloe Zhao is going and like exiting the restroom, she's like, hey, can I get a selfie with you? Um, so not weird at all. My mom got a selfie with Chloe Zhao in the restroom. Not weird at all. So definitely not weird. And then at the end, I did get a picture with Glenn as they were go going to leave. And I talked about how I was an actor and he gave me advice on acting, saying that you should follow your dream and that acting will be difficult at times. And so that was the piece of advice that Glenn gave me. So I did meet famous people. Acting with Keeper O'Reilly was one of the funniest things I've ever done any anywhere. I love, I love my castmates. Like they were amazing. Gemma Allen was such a good, all my castmates were so good. My castmates were amazing. And if you guys don't know, Kiefer O'Reilly is in the series called Mighty Ducks on Disney Plus. So if you guys haven't seen Mighty Ducks on Disney Plus, then you guys should definitely go watch it. Um, but uh, uh, Kiefer O'Reilly, he was my my partner in crime in the the, uh, the movie mixtape, and I had so much fun. We had wheelchair races. I would let him get in my wheelchair, and I push him around and. He would push me in my wheelchair and I turned my wheelchair over on the side once. I don't know if you guys have seen me uh, on my one of my videos on Instagram. I turned my wheelchair on the side and I like spinned around on my wheel. So I we did that on set and we were just goofing off. It was such a fun, fun thing. And it was fun to have a partner in crime during mixtape. Once again, if you guys not have seen the movie, watch it. Uh, yeah, right now in my school, it's pretty hectic right now. I can't go anywhere. It, like I've been in a restroom six times and people will be like, <gasps> You're the kid from Darman, aren't you? So I'm over here freaking out. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a guy who wanted a re or like an autograph in the bathroom. I'm like, yo, that's not weird at all, you know? <laughs> so um, a lot of people in my school know me for, for Darman's role and I'm very well known locally. So yeah, I can't really go anywhere without not being noticed. It's weird, I'm not used to it, but it's a good thing. Biggest technical or not the technical difficulty but uh the biggest problem we had to filming that first time was we were supposed to be on the track if you guys haven't seen the darman video i was a track runner for a relay race and we couldn't find a track that was not occupied so the second time we flew over we rented the entire school <laughs> or darman rented the entire school out so we had the entire school for like hours on end but only at night we only had the school at night. So that's why it was always at nighttime and that's why it was so cold outside. So the problem was we could not find a track and the solution was that we rented the entire school out for Darman. Where you guys could follow me. I'm on YouTube, my my name is the same. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as you guys know soon now. I'm on YouTube, TikTok, um, basically everywhere. React to Darman videos. Okay, yeah, no problem, I'll, I'll do that too. So I react to different Darman videos. Maybe I should I react to. So I know there's a lot of people in here that that like Call of Duty. I could. There's some. There's some like I, I can play Call of Duty. I can also do that. I like to play Call of Duty a lot. So if you guys want to see me doing that, I could do that. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do some some weird stuff like cosplay as Alex from Call of Duty. I could do that. Amputee powers. Let's go. I could cosplay as. I I have the gear. I have the gear. I have everything. I have the prosthetic, handicap perks, let's go. I have all that, so I, why not? Why not cosplay Alex from Call of Duty? The only thing I don't have is the height. Because your boy is short. <laughs> if you guys want me to see Dar if you want me to react to more Darman videos, you guys will just have to follow me to see more. You also have to, well, you guys have to follow me on YouTube to see more reaction videos. I'll post snippets of what my reaction video is going to be like on Instagram, but to see the full video, you guys will have to go on YouTube. My YouTube user is the same name as my Instagram user and such as everything else. So during mixtape, I actually had to shave my mustache like 16 times over the past like months and stuff like that. Or I spent two months, almost two months. I spent like a month and a half in Vancouver, Canada where we filmed the mixtape and I just started growing a mustache and they cut it all off. I was so sad. I named it my mustache and everything. I named it Samson. And I was like, I get my powers from my mustache. And they shaved it off and I was so sad. <laughs> I have, I think I have video of me crying 
having my mustache shaved off. How was my castmates for Mixtape? Everyone is such a phenomenal actor in Mixtape. They were so good. You guys should definitely subscribe to their Instagram and, and look out for different projects that they're on. Gemma Allen has been on different projects on Netflix. So you guys should also look out for her. But they were phenomenal. They were the best I I can put them at the top. I have not you know, done many acting videos and stuff like that with different actors, but they will always remain at the top for me since they were my first. What was working with the other actors from Darman like? They were hilarious. If you guys have not seen already, I have said this multiple times before, go watch the Darman behind the scene of the Teams Reject Disabled Runner. It was hilarious. We were chasing each other around with the stinky baton. It was disgusting. But uh, you guys should definitely watch behind the scene. You guys can see us being us. It was hilarious. So I'm very glad I got to meet them and I'm very glad I have, I've been able to do that experience with Darman. Hopefully you guys will see me within the next few months on another Darman video. Um, but it was absolutely awesome. They are such great actors also. Who is my favorite actor? Whew, that's uh, that's that's kind of hard. It's on the borderline of who plays who plays the beast from James McCuff? Uh, James McAvoy. McAvoy, okay. So it's between James McAvoy and uh, Millie Bobby Brown. So James McAvoy, uh, McAvoy, if you guys have not seen the series Unbreakable, Split, and Glass, um, he plays the Beast, and the Beast is such a phenomenal. He's such a phenomenal actor. Like he is, I think actually James Mc, uh, McAvoy is my favorite actor. James McAvoy, Millie Bobby Brown is second, and then Ryan Reynolds. I'm sorry, Ryan Reynolds. I know you're my third. Ryan Reynolds and Millie Bobby Brown and James McAvoy is there an actor I want to work with all those I would anybody who's famous anybody who's famous it doesn't matter who I would love to work with any actor do I dance wow you can really oh my gosh bringing up that video yes I act I, I do dance like I don't I don't dance like I used to I used to do professional break dancing um I trained for a year a year about a year for for this series that never aired, but I trained for a year my hardest to be a break dancer and I actually got really, really good at it. So whenever I'm bored in my room, I'll do some calisthenics and then I'll just practice like air flares, handstand. I want to learn how to do a backflip, but I'm so afraid of breaking my neck. What's my... I don't, really, I don't really think I have a sport unless you guys want to consider airsoft a sport. Airsoft is considered a sport. Um. Fishing, airsoft, fishing, fencing, wrestling, any, any, anything that involves outdoors or physical, I don't know. I've never really tried a lot of sports besides those. So Darman was actually looking for someone to play as Kyle, but they weren't looking specifically for me. Well, I mean, wait, they were looking specifically for me. So Darman reached out to me, me for the first time. I realized Darman actually has a really widespread output of good influence. And I was like, I got to do this because you can put positive messages out there. And so I did the Darman video and it, did, it didn't come out to be corny. I actually liked it a lot. I actually definitely didn't cry watching myself, but I've, I've had many different prosthetics. Let's bring them over here. So this was my first prosthetic. It's pretty old. It has the old military scorpion or OCP pattern on it this I grew out of this like when I was 10 um, we have the weeb leg with darling and the Franks I'm not I'm not proud of it, it as too many stickers <laughs> it has too many different stickers I lost my I didn't lose my leg people took my leg and they decorated with anime stickers this is what happens when you leave your leg unattended at school and then I have the leg I'm wearing right now is the newest leg I grew out of that one and I'm in now so those are my three legs and then I also have my blade so you guys if you guys haven't seen my blade then you guys will watch the Darman series you guys will know how my blade looks like there and you will also see how my leg looks like through my Instagram post I don't really I have, so I'm kind of used to it I've, I'm, I've been asked questions even though I wasn't able to respond I mean I've been asked questions since the day I was born so all, all of this stuff I'm kind of used to it um, uh, but uh, it's, it's not hard and honestly I kind of prefer people actually ask me about my leg as long as they don't do anything like oh because you have one leg you can't do this right no 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 no, no. that's not that's not what one-legged means 
Um, but no, I, I really don't mind if people ask. It's up to their, it's up to them. Why do I want to join the military so bad? Uh, because if, so I don't know the soldier. Okay, I do know, but I'm gonna put it in a way that I also can explain to you guys. So every, ever since I was six, I've wanted to be a soldier. I saw my dad putting on his boots, and I saw videos of soldiers fighting in Afghanistan, and I saw movies of these great heroes and what they did for our country and how they protected us daily. Protecting us from people outside of the country who want to harm us. And they were out there on the front lines, risking their lives for the greater good of our, our world. So I saw that and I was like, Dad, I want to be a soldier. I want to be a soldier. So right from that moment, I knew what I wanted to be. But there was problems known as my leg and my hand. Um, there were difficulties trying to to actually think of that dream ever happening but I never really let it slow me down you know my physical limitations I don't really see it as physical limitations and I train I train so hard and uh, hopefully two years from now you'll see me in the US Army doing something big maybe I'll be the first ever amputee in the entire world that's that's my dream right there to join the US Army that's um, that's my dream right there I want people to look up at me and 20 years, 30 years from now, even when I'm dead, I want people to see me as a legend. I want people to say, he did this all by himself. He he did this. He left a footprint on this world. I want little kids to look up, up to me like I look up to my. I want to inspire people. I want to protect people and those uh, who can't protect themselves. I want to do something great for this world. Legends never die. That's why I want to be a legend. It depends on what scenario, because I have this leg, which is made for running, walking, but you run slower. So, uh, I might have to say this one, it's it's not as comfortable, but I can get much more done with this leg, and I don't have to worry about my hip displacement and getting hip, hip replacements in while just casually walking around. So, I'd say my bending prosthetic is my favorite one, even though my prosthetic that has a blade is meant for running and doing so many different things. Um, so it's, I don't know, I'm on a, I don't really know, I, I, they're a leg, you can't really say which leg is my favorite, they're both legs, they serve a purpose. Actors with disability, I'm actually signed with an agency called Gambit, which specializes on getting actors with disabilities jobs, such as modeling, and if you guys don't know, you guys should check out Gambit's Instagram page, Gambit Management, you guys should check out their, their Instagram page, they specialize in getting actors with disabilities jobs and modeling and all that stuff and that's actually what I'm signed with so it's up for them to decide if they are disabled or not I mean like if you can put your mind to it and you know you can do it and you know that you are able to do it I don't see why they're why it's why it's a disability like me I I don't see myself disabled one percent all right well guys have a great night I wish you guys all a happy holidays and so thank you guys so much also comment Comment what you guys want to see next. Write to me anything. Goodbye.